Hi, I'm Marlana, and today we're talking about books and reading with your 24 to 36 month old. Books and reading with your older toddler play such an important role in their future success at school and in life. Young children who are surrounded by an abundance of books and reading friendly environment get so many benefits. When you read as little as three books a week with your child and their school readiness grows by leaps and bounds. And the more you read, the more they grow. Reading helps them develop their vocabulary because of course the more words they hear, the more words they'll learn. It gives them a sense of what the sounds in words are and how those sounds come together to make words. And it helps them understand that print has meaning that there's a structure to stories, that there's a beginning, a middle, and an end to a good story. It helps them develop sustained attention, it gives them the pleasure of learning, and so much more. What an important skill, and what a wonderful gift to give to your child. So of course, you do want to choose the best books for your child. For older toddlers, you want to look for books that have brightly colored pictures of simple objects. And remember that rhyming and repetition are important. You want to look for books that introduce things like letters and numbers and colors and shapes. And then if you can find interactive books, things that might have a lift the flap or a pat the bunny, that's going to encourage active involvement and exploration. Plus it's just good fun. But getting good books is just the beginning. And how you read with your child is what takes reading from good to great. Because children will learn the most from books when they are actively involved. And here are four easy ways to keep your child actively involved. First of all, use good prompts. There are different kind of prompts. You might use a completion prompt where you basically leave a blank at the end of a sentence and encourage them to fill in the blank. So for instance, there's one like one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. There are recall prompts where you basically just ask your child what happened in a book that you've already read. You could say something like, what happened to the little blue engine in this story? And there are open-ended prompts and these tend to focus on pictures. So you might ask, what do you see in this picture? And if your child answers truck, then you're going to want to let the child know that they gave you a good answer. You say, yes, that's a truck. And then you even want to add information and repeat their answer back to them by saying something like, yes, that's a red fire truck. And then if you ask them something like, can you say fire truck? You are repeating the prompt and um, helping them remember it by saying it again. So this interactive way of reading with your child is called dialogic reading. Um, and that word comes from the word dialogue, which is a two-way conversation with your child about what you're reading while you're reading it. And children who are read to this way are ahead of other children that are read to in a more traditional and less interactive way. As you're having this dialogue with your child, you want to make sure that you provide plenty of time for your child to hear your question and then to come up with their answer because children need a little more time than an adult. And mix it up. Don't push too hard. You want to keep it light and enjoyable and interesting for your child. And when you do, you're sure to be amazed at how much they will learn and grow just from reading and talking. Thanks so much. Come back next time.